Yes, yes, yes. It's the Raphael Dawkins with the Combat Radio. Let's get straight into it. It's the Errol Spence sends rematch message to Terence Crawford. Okay, so there was much speculation about how Errol Spence would respond to his loss to Terence Crawford. Okay, so immediately after the fight, we know that Errol Spence said, yeah, I'd like the rematch. He said he'd like the rematch at 1-5-4. And uh, as we know, it was disclosed pre-fight that the loser, the loser would be the one with the option to elect for a, a rematch. And it was also stated before the fight that the loser could opt for 1-5-4. I believe that's correct. Okay, so Errol Spence has done just that. He's opted for the rematch and opted to have the rematch at 154. Jamel Charlo is the undisputed champion at 154. As we know, Jamel Charlo is going up two weight divisions to fight Canelo, but that's another story. So, what are the key and pertinent points here? Errol plans on getting right back to work, correcting the mistakes he made and getting the weight right. As this article says, how Spence beats Crawford in the rematch. Well, that's highly optimistic because I don't think he does beat him in the rematch. Highly unlikely. Some people would say impossible. I'm not going to say impossible, but highly unlikely. Uh, get the weight right well it's going up to 154 but yeah I guess he can't take it for granted that he's going to be cozy at 154 still got to get things right I do believe yeah I would assume he has nutritionists and what have you uh, on deck I would assume that uh, increased power how does he increase power you think you just get that out of a lucky bag work on defense definitely needs to do that uh, improve inside game, shorten stance. That's a lot to ask for in one fight. <laughs> That's a lot to ask for in uh, in one fight. Get the weight right. Okay, legitimate increased power. Like I said, powders just don't come out of a lucky bag overnight. You know what I'm saying? Errol, Errol Spence, he has to wind up. He has a wide stance and he has to wind up his punches. I've been watching the fight back again and, and Crawford just Crawford just does it from where he stands. Look, he, he doesn't have to adjust his feet. He can power punch without adjusting his feet much. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that. He can just he can just pop from where he stands. He can just pop from where he stands and I guess he's gonna pop what 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 what? Yeah, watch the fight back for yourself. You'll see what I mean. Work on defense, yeah, that's legitimate. He's keeping his lead hand hella low. Hella low. Look at that there. Look look how low it is. I could keep that up, but uh, how long has he been doing that? You think he's gonna change overnight? Improve inside game. Yeah, improve inside game. Could you be more specific? Which elements are you referring to? Although I do believe that uh, improvement is needed, would be needed there. Uh, shorten the stance, shorten the stance. You think he's going to do that overnight? All of these things, you know? All of these things take work, take work. And he's been, he had certain habits, certain traits for a long, long time. Long, long time. Look how Errol, Errol has to wind up. Look, look at that. Bud's just been working on them things for years. <laughs> <laughs> Not telegraphing a shot. Her Errol will tend to telegraph a shot. Bud just boom! From where he stands. It'll knock you out your boot from where he stands. Look at that. Look at look at that fade away. Look at that right hook and then fade away. Look at the look at the defensive responsibility. You wanna see that again? You wanna give you some more? Give me some more. Look at this right hand that's coming from, from Crawford. Boom! Look, 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 it just fades away. Why don't you all fade away? What else is he talking about? Yeah, Spence wants to run it back, so Crawford will have to live with it. Yeah, you don't have to eat that. Well, that's the contract they agreed to. I'm sure it was mutually satisfactory. 
Right, uh, if Crawford had other ideas of making a soft defense against the gatekeeper, a gatekeeper like Thurman, he can forget about it because Spence will be fighting him again in December. <clears throat> in December, go until December. Uh, the rematch will take place at 154, which will allow Spence to be full strength unlike last Saturday, the article states. Uh, Errol appeared to be fighting under 60% power capacity and looked drained like a battery. <laughs> well, he did look drained, but like I said, it was uh, his choices, his choice to have it, to stay at one, one, four, seven, his choice to fight and defend his belt at one, four, seven. So I, I don't know if that's a legitimate excuse, even if there may be some, some fact in it. Crawford will still need to agree on the weight, but giving the green light to face Spencer 154 should not be an issue. I don't think it will. Crawford has already indicated that he uh, would find fighting at 154 acceptable. And indeed, if my predictions are correct, Crawford will be looking for Jamel Charlo, the 154 undisputed champion, and then fighting Spencer 154 would seem like a very good idea, very good prep for a Jamel Charlo at the weight that he would be fighting Jamel Charlo. Uh, what does this say? He likely believes he'll beat Spencer any weight. We can also label that as a characteristic of a person being power. What do you mean? What do you mean? That's spent power job. Oh, they're calling, they're calling Crawford power junk. Okay. Okay. It's a natural thing that slowly happens to a fighter when they enjoy a lot of success as it eventually engulfs them, causing them to want to achieve more and more and taking greater risks. Who's he says who's he saying is taking the greater risk? If Crawford says that he's happy to go up, he wants to go up because he's finding it kind of tight, making the weight a little bit tight at one. Uh, 147 and he wants to go up to 154 to fight Charlo. How is that being power drunk? No, I don't agree with it. The writer can say that, but I don't agree with it. I think uh, Crawford would be wise to take the fight at 154, as I previously stated as prep for 154 undisputed champion, Jamel Charlo. What else are we saying? The memes, the memes have been doing the rounds. There we see. In fact, I think I mentioned it in, I mentioned it during the, the fight live show that uh, Errol Spence would be looking somewhat like Hutch. Was it Hutch or Hitch? You know, the character played by Will Smith. And he uh, ate that prawn sandwich. Didn't really agree with him. Came out an allergic reaction. And the memes, the memes are up. The memes are up, but I think that's it. We've gone through it, we've done it. Errol Spence sends a rematch message to Terence Bud Crawford. Okay, so it's on by Donkey Kong for December. It looks like Joshua versus Wilder likely be in January, so you know, we got, we, got, we got something to look forward to in December. How brutal is it going to be next time? Have your say. Mr. Raphael Dawkins, the Combat Radio. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'm out.